Hello! How's everyone doing? President of Tufts, and I'm also, Woo! thank you, thank you, um, organizing this fun little event. It's a tradition of ours. Um, so what is 24 Hour, you might ask? So 24 Hour Play Festival is yesterday. We had writers come at 6 p.m. I gave them some rules and a theme, a secret theme, Ooh. <laughs> um, that they had to write about 10 minute plays for. They left, got those to me by midnight, and then this morning we had actors come in and they blocked them themselves, got their costumes and props together. For example. Um, <laughs> very fascinating what's happening there. I didn't know this was happening until about 10 minutes ago. So, yeah. Um, and so it's kind of like uh, just 24 hours of a fast shot to make a 10 minute play. Did we have a tech? Not really. Do we have sound cues? Yes. Do we have yeah. light cues? Yes. Yeah. Will they be going off at the right time? We'll see. That's the joy of it. Um, will people say the correct lines at the correct time? We'll see. Um, this is really an uh, event that is about the process and the joy that comes from creating theater with people you know and that kind of community connection. Um, it's really a fun event to be a part of. So thank you for coming to see the fruits of our labor. They're gonna be silly. They're gonna be pretty, pretty goofy. So as I mentioned, there is a secret theme. So keep that in mind while you're watching the plays. Um, so at the end, you can, you know, guess what's up. So everyone ready to get started? No. <laughs> Serious intro time, guys. 1912, a tragedy occurred. The RMS Titanic struck an iceberg. <laughs> Today, we tell a similar story. Another ship, another tragedy, another iceberg. Find out in Two Titanic, Two Furious by Abby and Casey, starring Ivy, Jenna, and Mitch. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah. 
man, we just can't hit the board, can we? <laughs> I guess it's our off day. Are you sure it's not because the board is completely frozen over? <laughs> the, the shuffle board is completely so frozen solid. Who are you? We've been playing shuffle board together for the last two hours. <laughs> I'm Dimitri. Okay. <laughs> so I guess you two aren't at all worried about the giant, massive, freezing storm heading this way, are you? I mean, maybe that affects the shuffleboard. No, oh, but then we can do ice fishing. Yes! <laughs> oh, oh. 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 I'm really good at fishing. What do you got? Oh, I, I, I caught something. <laughs> This ship is going to crash into an iceberg. 
Hamburg and sing. I am tired of trying <laughs> to stop dancing. <laughs> you got onto a ship named and designed after the Titanic. What kind of idiot does that? You had to have known that this was going to sink from the very start. <laughs> During, World, during the Great War. Well, let me tell you, 
<laughs> we have pro we have self respect. <laughs> there was a lot of um, yeah, just sex jokes. I like I appreciate the impulse to just like fuck with us. I will say that isn't not funny. But after a certain point, it just got kind of exhausting. <laughs> like, let's see, what do we have here? Um, let's see. Uh, I want the invisible hand of the market to choke me out. <laughs> um, let's see, pull me, hardy, pull me harder, daddy. Um, let's go, what else do I have here? <laughs> Um, you trained me, fed me, mentored me, pounded me hard, <laughs> and so on ad nauseum. <laughs> so we're not really going to be doing much of that. Some of it will be kept, because a little bit is funny. But, yeah, anyway, back to the speech. <laughs> Woo! Um, but together, Calvin and I will bring about prosperity. We will do hard things. See, I told you so. <laughs> and the newspapers and the magazines, hard things may come upon us, but we push past them. <laughs> and it, but this, despite the odds, because this nation needs to be allowed to gush forth its pent-up riches. <laughs> America is like a great forest. We've planted our seed, and now we will watch it grow and grow and grow <laughs> into a large, girthy tree. <laughs> the, the invisible hand of the market will guide us to a land flowing with milk and honey and only those things. <laughs> the government's vice will release in the invisible hand of the market will be free to do as it pleases. And our markets will burst forth with gold, just as our fields will burst with the oils, and just as the script bursted with sexual innuendo. I want to shake hands with the invisible hand of the market. That was originally the choke me out line. We are one nation, and now we leap into adulthood as one nation, away from the tepid fear of adolescence, so that we may all have security and our forests our woods will grow thick. Speech. Honey, you did so good. Stars oh, above, Warren. That was so good. Dimitri. <laughs> Bestie for the rest, you will thank you, my friend. <laughs> yes, why don't we go out and celebrate? So I know you've always had a thing for casinos. <laughs> so, what do you say, Atlantic City? I really need this, guys. I'm, I, have, I lost so much money. <laughs> yeah, let's celebrate. Besties for the rest, you! Yeah! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> are we still besties for the resties? Yes, we are still besties for the resties. And um, oh, to, <laughs> my daddy issues will be hearing about this. <laughs> this reminds me of the one time I, I, I. Quick, give me a cutaway bit. <laughs> Thank you. Strangles are hard. What? What? Warren, my quote unquote bestie for the rest of Where is my croissant? Uh, what croissant? There was never any croissant. Why would there be a croissant? Who said there was a croissant? Not I. There was a croissant sitting right on this pedestal. That was the last croissant <laughs> of my family. There was any croissant. Who, who, who likes croissants? Not I. No, there was one right there. No, nope, never. If there was a croissant, who would eat it? Not I. Uh, quote unquote, bestie for the rest of you. Harding, did you eat? My croissant. You only use rhetoricals and then answer with not I when you're hiding something. No, who would ever even do that? Not I. <laughs> I swear to God. This is my last straw. Ugh! I can't believe you ate my diamond encrusted family heirloom that was a croissant. <laughs> First you drop it, then you eat it. This is unacceptable. You know what? What is with your face? Oh. Chocolate, I think. And a little bit of blood. <laughs> oh, the chocolate was a gift. Yeah. Yeah. It was for my dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. That's nice. Um, you've crossed me for the last time. <laughs> if you don't replace my heirloom, I'll have to call the Russian mob on you. Maybe then we'll get some. Oh, please, no. My quote unquote bestie for the resty. <laughs> hey, don't call the Russian mob that you personally control. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I would still 
lucky if you were a worm. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to it. <laughs> <laughs>
Alaska should definitely be made, oh, that's where it was, should definitely be made a state. Then natural resources, like oil. Mm, tasty, tasty oil. <laughs> <laughs> and resources will launch this nation forward into a new era of economic strength. The invisible hand of the market will guide us to a bright and will guide us to a bright new future. <coughs> oh. <coughs> I just, oh. Thank you. <laughs> 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 oh my god, the president's dying. What? What? Yeah, I can't so believe this. Why is he dying? And hot issues. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> Here, let me read you this article about you in the Saturday Evening Post. They called it a call review of a mediocre band. Very oh. fitting, I think. <laughs> Warren G. Harding's presidency may be marked by scandal, but his demeanor and presidential attitude cannot be matched. Do you like it, dear? Yeah, it's great. Keep going. Ah. <laughs> as, as he made his way up the East Coast, President Harding has shown nothing but professionalism, positivity, and a little bit of animosity. We are all gathered here today to mourn the death of my Dearly beloved husband, <laughs> Warren G. Harding. <laughs> he was such a passionate soul, and will be missed by some, first with his questionable relationship with his quote unquote bestie for the rest of the <laughs> <Hey>. Dimitri. <laughs> um, this relationship was slightly homoerotic. <laughs> then he lost the White House in a stupid bet and said, with said, unquote, bestie for the rest <laughs> On top of that, he gave away a piece of land, creating a whole scandal, because he ate a stupid croissant. <laughs> but even above that, I can't believe he had the fucking audacity <laughs> to die in the middle of my story time. Bitch! Shut up! Bitch! You are you ruining go it! Go right here right now! Resting. Zoology, I'm getting it now! <laughs> we will now miss my quote unquote bestie for the rest of Harding, who helped me so much in my life as generously giving me the White House and an oil field. We will miss him to his day. And his wife, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> And that was a little look at to uh, the true, the real life of Warren D. Hardon, an autobiography by Warren G. Harding. <laughs> <laughs> Really that really happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was all factual and true. <laughs> okay, raise of hands who's ready for the U.S. history test. I like the confidence. Okay. Name all the secretaries of state, maybe? So, in a totally non contrived segue, you know what I always thought the presidential cabinet needed? A wizard! Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, also you all forgot. So, a wizard, let's imagine that with our yeah. next play. Once upon a time, some amount of time ago, there was a kingdom called Camelot. In this kingdom, there were many good friends. Our story focuses on two very special friends. <laughs> These friends have been through so much together. 
But what will I do when their friendship is tested by a third? You must watch this riveting story of wonderful, but completely platonic, friendships to see if these two will overcome their struggles. <laughs> Please enjoy the very true and absolutely real story of King Arthur and his court wizard, written by Jay and Kaylin, starring Jake, Kunch, and Lucius. Woo! <laughs> I'm King. I'm the King Arthur for Stark's sake. What do I need to do to find a lady? <laughs> perhaps, perhaps it's that your honor isn't quite up to the, the lady's standards. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm the most honorable man in all of Camelot. That is true, but my dude, the lady's got to see it. You're more of the subtle type. But the kind of chivalrousness that you have, nobody can really know that you're actually pretty cool, too. If you want to impress a woman, you have to be aggressive. Aggressive niceness, you Oh, is that how you got your secret lady friend that you won't tell me anything about for any apparent reason? Um, what strategy did you use there? Um, uh, for that I would use, um, a public tournament. Yeah, yeah, and you can publicly display your, your manliness and your chivalry, and the court wizard whiz can do some, uh, opening ceremony or <laughs> some Thing. <laughs> <laughs> My God, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a tournament. I haven't had a tournament since I've been crowned. The ladies will fall once I show them my aggressively kind while I'm crushing my opponents, and they'll all fall over each other to marry me. <laughs> I have to go announce this at once. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I can make this work. Yes. <laughs> oh, this my courtiest wizard. I have a plan to get married. What? Really? Yeah. It's just you've caught me at such an awkward time. But I. We're gonna host a tournament. Oh. And then I have to show you my aggressive, nice skills. I see. How did you come up with that? I mean, subscribe. Isn't he such a great friend? He's like my best friend. I, he just, he always has my best interests at heart at any moment. I'm not so sure this is going to work. What do you mean by that? Well, he's always trying to, have you not noticed? Notice what? That every time you're in the same room, he kind of sort of tries to murder you and take your throne. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's tried to stab you, poison you, throw you out the fucking window. <laughs> I haven't seen any of it. <laughs> of course not. You're oblivious to everything, even things that are right in front of you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, okay, but. Scrag is my best friend. Like, I put all my trust into him. If that's how you feel, I, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have here? <laughs> what do you want, Scrag? You <laughs> bitch. Oh. I just wanted to pay a visit to my dear friend, Wiz. A pause. <laughs> First, it's Liz. Second, what are you even talking about? Who else could I be talking about? King Arthur, of course. Well, I... Because I'm his best friend. I'm a wear. Just wanted to make sure. Ta-ta, Wiz. <laughs> Liz! This 
tournament is so good so far. There's so much happening. <laughs> Dude, this is insane, except I don't know where my friends are. Um, it's... <laughs> Guys, sing this. Come on. Maybe each other next time. <laughs> by the very own writers themselves <laughs> to give a costume change to two out of the three actors that they need to come on as their own character. Take it off for yourself. Keep my eye on him. 
I was trying to keep him engaged so that he could not come up with a plan that I wouldn't see through. I put up with every ugh, disgusting innuendo. Pretentious flirtation. <laughs> I did all of that. And I, and I put up with every attempt, every poisoning, every attempt at stabbing. I was there. I saved you, Arthur. I was there. I was always there. And I thought maybe eventually he'd let it go and you'd get to keep your perfect best friend. But he just would never give up. Why wouldn't you ever give up? <laughs> Sprag, you didn't have to be this way. Now you will be tried for treason against King. This is the end for you. I can't do this anymore. Exactly subtle. <laughs> and you wrote love letters too. Oh no, that's not important. No. <laughs> uh, what is important is that you you are about to lose a, a true friend. Yes. Um, or someone who stood with you all this time. Are you really gonna let him out of your life? I, an honorable man, would not lose a friend to that. You're right. I have to go after them. should have listened. It's just you were always at your courtly duties and he was so kind and attentive. And attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> Sorry, you, you've always been by my side. You've always guarded my heart against people who tried to take advantage of me. Please, I beg of you, don't leave. I, Arthur, I don't even know what to say. Say you won't go. I won't go. I don't think I would have ever really, truly been able to leave anyway. I, this is my life. My life is here in Camelot. You're here in Camelot. I can Yeah. 
It sure would be a shame, though, if someone else were to write a story about them in which Mer Lizard's name was Merlin, and <laughs> Arthur got cucked by a cool and handsome knight, and it was distributed widely everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that would truly be a terrible twist, wouldn't it? Stab him a knight! <laughs> Succumb to the dangers to, to 
disgrace of books. You should be so grateful that I didn't take you to that dark place yourself, myself. Oh. Now, I need to take, teach a lesson to your brother. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what lies beyond this wretched place. after you are safe. Come, up the mountain. Out of time for what? 
We haven't the time for me to explain. You have to trust me. Who's Chamora? <laughs> so no one in con someone inconsequential. Let's go. No! Who is she? Might be about time you told her. Who I am. What her fate is. No, mine! Mine alone! You cannot have her! You misunderstand me. I don't wish to possess her. I just wish to give her the opportunity to choose to come with either of us. She, she does not have the time. She needs to go up to be awakened. No. I don't want this. Of course you do, my child. No! I don't want to go back. I don't want to go up there. If you go down, it would be easier, but you have to make a choice. Child, once you have made this choice, you can never go back. Never. You have to leave this mountain. Go up. If you never want to see your brother again. The only way I can see you again is if I go back home. Back to my life of despair and ridicule. Precisely. Frozen. Do you really wish for her to die? Will I remain frozen if I go back? Stuck in my sickly life? Being tormented by you, Mother? Yes, which is why you must listen to me. Euphrasio, isn't it about time you actually tell Neveo what you, what you want from her? You want to bring her back to the familiar life that you promised to let her escape from. I, I do not understand. No, trust me, Neveo. Why would you trust him? He's trying to take you back. Me? You were not ready to leave the familiar place. You were still so young. No. You, you don't understand. You will die either way. But this way, if you come with me, you will live in eternal bliss, eternal comfort. But if you go back, then you will wait for your illness to take you into the dark place. I only do this out of mercy. Mercy? She must return. I cannot stand to watch this any longer. Oh! 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 Why would you do that? You killed him. Mother! You murderer! She, she killed him. My brother, she... She killed him. Netflix. 
The series stars Lily Collins as an aspiring marketing executive, Emily Cooper, an American who moves to Paris to provide an American point of view to a French marketing firm. In Paris, she tries to overcome challenges in her work, love life, and friendship. The series also stars French name, Ashley Park, Lucas Bravo, Samuel Arnold, Bruno, I don't know, Camille, and uh, William, and Lucian. Actors. <laughs> yes, JFK. <laughs> I made up my mind. I'm going back to medieval times. <laughs> I went to the Renaissance Fair the other day. I decided that my true calling in life is to be a super cool fucking wizard. You know what? Jackie's got enough of that fucking virgin, okay? Jackie is going off on a girl boss adventure across Paris. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, oh I can. <laughs> Okay, my friends, now we will do what knights do best. Speak fucking nerds? No, no. <laughs> we must be chivalrous and proper knights so that we may one day be promoted to serve. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking suck. <laughs> you just want my dad for a minute. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Oh, no. Who was the roundest knight of the round table? That's not how a knock knock joke is. Sir, I'm <laughs> Prince! If they oh, give me a thought, you'd be dead right now! <laughs> oh, oh dear, a plot point. <laughs> it's me, the, the monster, Hallmark. <laughs> you have fun with this. No, 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 this is the moment I've been waiting for my entire life. Lightning hands! <laughs> because me and my good buddy are going to become serfs. Oh. Don't put me in this. <laughs> Anything your bitch wife can do, I can do it. And I can do it better. Just watch me sensually massage this tree. <laughs> <laughs>
lady. Knock, knock. <laughs> I'm a fucking wizard! Wow, you're a fucking dork! <laughs> Is there anything else? Uh, could you make me a surf? Sure. Your humbleness is so impressive, and therefore, for that reason, I proclaim that you are worthy of being bestowed upon me. Give me the sword of the kingdom, and henceforth you shall be known as oh. the king of this great nation. <laughs> um, okay. I'll be king. I'll do it, but I want my friends to be king too. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So it shall be. <laughs> but um, what you do? What? <laughs> Absurdist jokes that, 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 that aren't even real knock knock jokes. That is, it's crazy. About that, this is a little <laughs> awkward. I'm bored. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> look, look, I gotta see my wife, man. I gotta see my kids. I gotta go back to my country. And I gotta see my stupid fucking bitch wife who keeps <laughs> calling me a stupid little wizard bitch boy shit face, no good for nothing, unbearably trash human being. <laughs> the audience gets it. <laughs> it to you. Go then. Oh, uh, but I would feel bad about leaving here without first learning your name. <laughs> you, you know my name. I told you. I forgot. <laughs> it's Lee. L E E Lee. <laughs> Lee what's your surname? Ooh. Surname? I don't think I got one of those. Oh, uh, here. Uh, Oh, my. Just pick one. What is this? Oh. Um, uh, hobby. Oh, that's a first name. <laughs> oh, oh, wrong side. Uh, pick a last name. I don't know, man. Oswald. Oh, <laughs> what a stupid name. <laughs> you know what, JMP? You know what? <laughs> Knock, knock! Oh, no. <laughs> Paris, bitch. Deuces. <laughs> Oh, this is oh. the White House. 
house. <laughs> hello, 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 JFK, JFK, JFK. <laughs> I am God. Oh, God. <laughs> my God. Knock, knock. No, 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 don't do that. That is incredibly inappropriate. <laughs> God, man. I'm a fucking wizard, man. Oh, and you're a fucking dwarf, dwarf. <laughs> However, I feel as much I must bestow upon you the ultimate promotion, promotion, promotion. And that is that you yourself become God, God, God. <laughs> I don't want to be God, I want to be a serf. <laughs> Well, uh, if you become God, 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 you become everything, everything, everything. And under the category of everything lies the surf, so you will basically be a surf if you become God. God. <laughs> yes, sure, whatever. Yes. <laughs> oh, and as for you, Durbin, oh, do I stay here if I fear my creation? No! I stay up here because you guys, you guys are boring, boring, boring. And that I say, deuces, deuces. <laughs> Please give a hand to our techs, Echo and Julie. <laughs>